six loss, sorry about this, first up to St George. The Dragons forwards, well led by Craig Young, dominated proceedings. I thought that Jarvis Walsh win, the three big guys, created havoc with their powerhouse running, and they gave the backs arguably the fastest in the league. Comment from Ray about that in a moment. Plenty of space to score four tries to one. Additionally, the new halfback combination of Lemayne and Graham O'Grady combined well and posed a threat to a rather disorganised looking Parramatta side. Is that an unfair sta uh, statement? No, fair comment. Very fair. So, about the pace of this St George side, what would you say? Are they arguably the fastest three-quarter line going around in Sydney? Oh, they have been. They were last year too, I thought. They've got plenty of pace to burn. I was very impressed with the halfback. He had a big game. Lenoe? Yeah. Yes, he's a quick player. I've got one comment I'd like to make to you about your big prop forward, Paul Mears. I'm not the first to say this, but I watch him closely because I admire his work rate and his huge effort. He props when he takes a tackle. Has anyone spoken to him about that? Yes, we're uh, we're trying to get him out of that, and um, I think you noticed in yesterday's game he didn't do it That's as much. That's right, he didn't do it as much, but the week before it was noticeable, and it makes him look bad sometimes. That was a reflex action. I'll convince that I'll, until the day I die I'll say that Mick Cronin wouldn't deliberately stiff arm anyone. No, he put his hand out to stop him, yeah, but um, the act actor's uh, equity, I think, you're going to have a little talk to uh, the player. You reckon Beattie might get slapped on a 402 for overacting? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of it goes on. Well, it was a beautiful bit of precision with that kick from O'Grady and uh, O'Connor. What uh, sort of a statement would you make about O'Connor as a footballer? I thought he would have excelled last year, but it looks like he's going to do it this year. I think yeah. he's definitely got the makings of a great player. He just, when he makes a break, he does it so easily, and it's so much fluidity in his running. He just sort of glides over the ground, doesn't he? The experience he got from Union, sir. I guess so. Oh, well, they all, well, all the good players came from rugby union, didn't they, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Cron uh, Cronin's uh, ten minutes in the sin bin was his first ever stint there. I doubt if that'll ever happen again, in uh, incidentally. But I thought the speed of the Saints backs a big factor in their win. Uh, and this is a, a dummy, fullback in a hopeless position there. He was always going to be beaten. There was always going to be a try score, but perhaps he'd done, done better to take the man with the ball. Yeah, you, you know, in that situation, you've got to end up with someone. And yet you ended up scoring the best try of the match, I thought. It was a quality try. It just shows our backs. We're they, not missing those blacks. They, they looked awful for 78 minutes, and they came good for two minutes, and they scored a very fine try. Long way to go, though, for Parramatta to get back to the former glory. Oh, definitely, but what we've got to do is get our act together and uh, tighten up our defence and fundamental errors. Once we do that, um, I don't think there'll be too many critics writing us off. No, well, nobody's writing you off. I've got too much respect for the side, but, you know, you've set yourself such a high standard. There's your problem. People are expecting you to do the, the, the exemplary thing all the time. Well, you know, I'd rather play at the high standard and, and a lowly rated one. Okay.